Power, 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 power. Okay, ballooned a little bit, little power. Little power, little power, little power. Uh, was me pushing forward right now, 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 now. Guys, are end of the runway, end of the runway. Uh, it's finding the sweet spot. Uh, today, Luke is back. And um, we're going to work on landings today. Uh, about two months ago, I put up a video of his first landings lesson. I don't know how many lessons we've had since then. Four or five, yeah. something like that. And he's gone through progression for a while. We weren't pulling those up high enough. Then we were ballooning a little bit and we come back. But um, today, uh, my goal is to say as little as possible, uh, kind of a mock solo. I know to some of the viewers that'll be great because some of you commented that you think I talk too much. Anyway, now when I say silent, I'm going to be silent about his flying. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean I won't just chit chat, but um, we're just going to see where it is. Now, he didn't fly last week, so it's been two weeks since he flew. So we'll see how rusty he is, but we're going to uh, basically let him take us up to uh, Davidson, which is uh, right. 25, 30 miles away. Do uh, three, four landings and see how we go. Please be kind in the comments, everybody. Please be kind. <laughs> and here we go. Got clear at Quebec Sierra traffic. Head to your right, 1,700 for the downwind archer. And the green. 59 and rotate. We've got that traffic in sight from 1,100 Quebec. Doc, zero Sierra Quebec, pass behind that traffic, proceed on course north east. Proceed on course north east. 11 o'clock. Well, so far it's going to be a boring video for everybody. I haven't, <laughs> everything so far I've been quite pleased with. It's amazing how you're task saturated at the beginning. Two all of a sudden Turn things slow down. And and that's right. So now, much less overwhelming. Even I think I'm, what, nine hours into all this and I think it's a whole different ballgame. Uh, certain things just start to become automatic and then you can focus on other things that aren't so automatic. All right, nice and smooth today. Only 11 knot wind up here. I believe you have uh, you have no extenuating circumstances. And no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. So I know in like um, Europe they would say 133 decibel 67. Is that oh. how they do it in Canada or is it no, point? Point. point? Yeah. Okay. Canada's this weird hybrid. We're <laughs> historically European, but have so tight ties to the United States that everything basically right. becomes what's in the United States, except for temperature and distance. So distance Both moving here, all that. metric yep. for all that. Distance was easy to convert, but temperature. Also, I lived in the United States 10 years now, and still my brain works in Celsius, so. And I have no clue. Oh, it's hot today, 35 Celsius. You're like, right. What? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So, and I bring that up because Luke is Canadian. I don't know if I've mentioned that in I am Canadian. other other so he's a he's an immigrant absolutely a video you will not see on bruce's channel is how to navigate flight training as a immigrant <laughs> and the challenges that entails there's a whole section of the fa read and getting fingerprinted or not so right. good and luck to those of you like myself who have to navigate that part of it all right so if it's a good stabilized landing and we don't chew up a bunch of runway you can do touch and go if you want sure it's unstabilized or we floated down the runway we'll do a full stop absolutely and we're about at the thousand footers so we're going to come back to about 11 12 inches right there we're going to hold our altitude as we slow down to 90. we're going to landing left on we can have our flaps come down now fuel pump is up full forward 90. What I did not do is switch my heading bug, so I that I should have been planning better. I'm not going to do it now in this phase of the but I recognized it, so I will give you a little assistance. Here you go, Keith. Now I'm going to be pitching for 8. Go down a little bit. And that was also the right call, not monkeying with it in this phase of the flight. So we overshot a little bit. Now we're getting low. I, you might uh, not need power, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. My aiming point is the numbers. I like how that's pretty stabilizing my view right now. We'll sink right there. Getting a little slow. 
power come off with the power that ballooned a little bit there. But a lot right there. Or out. Power, 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 power. Okay. Got her? I got it. You have the controls. I got the controls. I dropped. Uh, your your round out was pretty good, about the right time, but then you didn't get enough back pressure to keep her up off of the off of the runway. Got it. Up to that point, I was happy with everything. Your speed did get down to mid to low 60s a couple times on on final. I'd like to see that picked up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's just once you get that round out, pulling. Get your eyes to the end of the runway. Keep that nose up on the end of the runway. So that's she just walked down. I don't think you dropped her from too high a distance, it was just sure. way too fast. Got got okay, but once you bounce... 526 Delta Sierra on the go, runway 6, entering left, close traffic, Davidson. Uh, once you bounce that high, power and get out. And you got to be careful uh, when you hit the power, because you've got full flaps in, so you don't want her to just shoot uh, it up on you. So I was, I was helping you hold the stick back to keep the nose up, yep. but just until we built some airspeed to where we could really start climbing. Just to keep her from whacking down again. Okay. Let's set her up for another try. David, the traffic 526 Delta Sierra turning downwind runway 6 left closed traffic. Davidson. You did at the end to hear that. Okay, yeah, you got it all in there. I said he forgot the left, but you came back around to it. Alright, so remember though, don't overcorrect that with back. Because remember, one time we were ballooning, then we weren't enough, and then we were ballooning. So, so just yep. you want to keep her off the ground, but don't overreact and then shoot her up in the air, because that creates a very similar, similar problem. Got it. The power, a little bit of sink felt right there. A lot of sink I felt right there. Back out with the power. Lined up a little bit to the right, but great rudder. Pretty good, gotta move Power out. Round out right about there. Okay, ballooned a little bit, little power. Little power, little power, little power. Uh, out with the power. I right, take power out. Okay. Tax back, I jumped in with you there. I appreciate that. For the next taxiway. A little squirrely. Uh, once you feather power, that's fine. Then you're basically just resetting yep. and bring her back down again. Got it. Uh, but what did I predict was going to happen? I was going to balloon because I had just too much back pressure. Yeah, because yep. you just went a little too far the other way. Yep. All right, so we have one with not enough back pressure yep. and one with. Clear, it may not even have been too much back pressure, but too early. I got you. For that much, right? Because okay. you still got a little speed going. Yep. So this one should be. Right? right in the middle. The Goldilocks lane. Absolutely. On the upside, I liked your pattern. Your speed control on final was much better. On both the last two, the aiming point is perfect till very short final. Then all of a sudden, the aiming point is moving down on us. Yeah. Um, like it feels like I sink, but somehow, I don't know if it's me doing uh, something. I think when you're adding power, yeah. maybe you're unconsciously letting yeah. that nose come up. So remember, just to keep the stick, make that nose go where you want it to go. Because I'm like, he's perfect, 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 and then all of a sudden, yeah. it does that a little bit, and and it's still landable, but you've lost your, yep. your aiming point. I got you. Okay. So you were right to add power on those times to get your speed. Yep. I think you did appropriate amount. You didn't leave it in and get going, you know, 85 knots or something. Right. But just see if the last little bit, you can keep her on that aiming point. Okay. Because uh, I think that might contribute, too, to wanting to flare a little high, because... Sure. You kind of come in and now, oh, it's kind of, you've already started kind of a round out kind of scenario, right? Okay. okay. But we are... We're getting there. We're, this, getting there. we're this close. We're this close. And all this part is repetition. It's just, you got to get in your mind, yeah. this is what works, and this is the site. I don't know any easier way to do it Bet. than just doing it. So you've got someone else in the pattern. What's your sign that it's safe to make your base, base turn? Uh, once, once he is on the ground, 
or over the numbers. Oh. What? Whoa. Hey, uh, Once you're a beam him, he's on final, you're on down one. Once okay. you're a beam, then you're safe. Gotcha. Uh, you're really safe on the numbers, right? But once he's a beam, then you can make your turn. That would be a, a appropriate right. spacing. Got it. Power is out. Found out. Was me pushing forward right now, 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 now. Guys, end of the runway, end of the runway. Okay, we'll do a taxi back. All right. Pull your flaps up. So I did two things there. Yep. You were going to pull, I put a backstop in there because you would have ballooned us. Yep. And then as we started coming down, I added a little more back pressure. Got it. And that wasn't a terrible landing, sure. right? We were pretty soft. That was, that's the only thing, that little backstop, because you would have put us. her back up again. Just getting a little too aggressive, a little too early. Okay. That's, that's the thing. Basically, once you do the round out, unless she wants to settle, just hold her there. I got you. Right? Then when you feel her, just like you did on final, you felt it start to sink a little bit, you had a power. Round her out and just let her go. Got it. And then when you start to feel a little, then... A little more add a little just more keep as it sinks. Right. Okay. Because that means you're bleeding the speed. She's going down. A more angle of attack to maintain the lift. Right. And that slows you down even more. And then you touch. We had a little chirp. It was pretty soft. I, I don't remember if we were totally straight. But we, that was a perfectly acceptable landing. You bet. There was no problem with that. Okay. All right. Let's start we're our turn. You're going to overshoot. Anything, yeah. I am going to have uh, See? Four reds. So just level her out. As we overshot. There you go, yeah, you're right yeah. back on glide. So watch your speed, look how fast you're going. We're high. It's fine, you're gonna sink over the trees, yeah. you know that. Just keep that two. But it's more the thousand footers are steady or not the number. All right, so now we're real high, so just yeah. pull that power. And use your pitch, all right? Yep. Crew track 410. Traffic is a Diamond Star, short final, runway two, you're cleared to land. Cleared to land number two, runway two, crew track 410, that traffic is fine. I just keep her coming down, that's fine. I start rounding, all right, hold her, ground. hold her off the ground. Make left trap. Push to the right, hold her up, hold her up, hold her up, hold her up, okay. Okay, I'll pull your flaps up. Thank you. All right. Everything was good, except when she started sinking, needed to pull you harder. didn't pull. Yeah. I think you got... Oh, we did a couple balloons, and we did a couple on up. It's still... Uh, it's finding the sweet spot. Uh, 